G'day, my name is John Shearer and I'm a mindfulness master and mentor for Roses in the Ocean. I'm also part of this lived experience collective. I've had lived experience of being suicidal and I've been grieved by suicide so I have a lot of empathy for anyone in a similar situation. Today I'd like to talk about mindful practice. For 12 years now I've been practicing mindfulness and studying all the different aspects of mindfulness in different cultures and we find it in every culture. Sometimes it's not called mindfulness but it's there. For in Aboriginal culture for example there's a couple of words come to mind because there's different dialects around Australia. That is the Deary, and that was made a bit famous by Miriam Rose up in the Northern Territory, and she talks about that quiet, still place. And where I live on the east coast, in Bundjalung language, there's a word Ghana, G A N apostrophe N A, Ghana, and Ghana practice has been used for thousands of years to overcome trauma, like a, a death in the family, for example. And the practice of Ghana is going bush, and when people went to the spiritual guru in the tribe, they were sent bush to practice deep listening, which is listening beyond our thoughts which is mindfulness. So, mindful practice. For 12 years now, I've, like I said, I've been studying all about mindfulness and I've developed my own practice. And I encourage everybody to start practicing mindfulness. And how I've simplified over 9,000 hours of study into mindfulness is be mindful, pause, connect. And if you Google that, you'll find me. I've made it my thing for many years now. I'll just explain it. Be mindful is a key thought we use anytime we notice our mind being unhelpful or negative. Anytime we notice our mind in the past, which can make us depressed, or in the future, which can make us anxious, we use the instruction from our heart. Be mindful, we tell our mind. Be mindful. It only takes a few seconds. We pause our mind, and in that pause, we connect. We connect in three different ways. We connect with where we are, using our five senses, sight and hearing, smell, taste, touch. We connect with who we're with, with full presence. That's not thinking about what to say next or having any agenda, just being fully present. It's the greatest gift you can give your loved ones and anyone you work with or, or your friends, your full presence. And the third way we connect is with our source energy, whatever you believe that to be. I often say the power of mindfulness is in the silence between our thoughts. And the more silence we create throughout our day, the more power to us. Because out of that silence that we create comes creativity, our intuition gets turned on, and don't take my word for it, okay? Just get started with your practice if you haven't done so already. Be mindful, pause, connect. Write it down. Put it, on, put it on a sticky note. Put it on your mirror just to remind yourself. Because I remember when I started my practice 12 years ago, 
The hardest thing to do was to remember to practice. I'd go a few days and I'd go, oh, mindfulness, that's right. And then I'd practice. But once I made a point of practicing every day, and for me, I made sure it was the first thing in the morning when I first awakened, I connect to the present moment, which is what the practice is, silence my mind, and for me, I, I ask the question, what are we doing today, soul? S-O-L. It's an ancient Roman word for the sun. I just happened to entertain the, the thought that my source energy is the sun. I kind of like that because the sun is source energy for the whole planet as well. And everything is connected. So I'm going to encourage everybody. Be mindful. Pause. And connect. And keep doing it until it becomes a new habit. And then when it does become a new habit, we don't need the heart instruction to the mind so much. We just pause and connect. It becomes a bit automatic. And then we start abiding in the present moment more and more and more in our daily life. We start to notice the, the little things, the beauty everywhere, the, the light in people. And uh, I can tell you the journey from the, the darkness or my dark years when I was suicidal and depressed and you know, until now, when I walk in the light and I have pretty much peace of mind and clarity of mind all the time, outside things that are happening don't really affect me so much anymore because I've developed my practice. So I encourage you all to do the same. So this was the first session for the Lived Experience Collective. And, you know, I'm a huge fan of Rose in the Ocean, they're doing wonderful work in postvention. So, anyhow, I'll just close by saying be mindful, pause, connect. Bye now.